there are rumours flying around all over the place at the moment and I don't mean exciting rumours about celebrities, I mean rumours about exams and what's going to happen and are they going to cancel exams and what plan A, plan B and plan C is. So, are they going to cancel exams? Now, Scotland has already cancelled its equivalent of GCSEs. Wales is talking about it and it looks like they're probably going to cancel their GCSEs. Um, England, at the moment, we are having exams. That is plan A, to have exams. But, you know, we never planned on being in a second lockdown. So, plans don't always work out. Um, so, plan A is having exams. Now, last week's video, um, I talked about whether that was fair or unfair. It's completely unfair. And then in next week's video, I'm going to take you through um, what plan B is. So, plan A is having exams. Plan B is mocks. Now, they tried to do this last year. Good old Gavin, winding teachers up, no end. Um, unfortunately, Gavin Williamson has literally no idea how schools work or what mock exams are. So, they tried to do that last year, but because mocks are so different between every school, that didn't work. So, what they are talking about doing this year, if exams are cancelled, they might do this as well anyway, so they've got a backup, is having a mock season in March so that the exam boards provide papers and mark schemes to the schools. You then have to sit your mock at the same time as everyone else, and um, these get marked. Now, this is crazy, literally crazy, because what they're doing is they said, oh no, it's okay, we're gonna push the exams back three weeks, so that you've got more time to revise, but then we're gonna make you sit more mocks on top of the mocks that you're probably sitting in, you know, November, December, January, so the, there's another mock so Anyway, this is a rumour, this is plan B, there is a rumour of a mock being put out in March. Now, next week's video I'm going to go over why this is a really, really bad idea, why I don't like this at all, but anyway, plan B is mocks in March. So we really need to start rising now because we, we need to plan for the worst case scenario basically um, and then if it doesn't happen great we really really prepared for plan A but if plan B does happen we are not going to get a lot of notice about this because it is still at the moment just a rumour but let's assume that this is actually going to happen we need to start revising now it's still just a rumour. Anyway, that is the rumoured plan B. The rumoured plan C, I know, is even worse. So, in plan C, the people that are able to take their exams. Now, I say the people that are able to because plan C assumes that we are still in pandemic in exam season. So, in April, May and, um, well, not April, May, June, July, May, June, July. So there will be some people who will be fine, who are going to be healthy, who aren't going to be isolating, who aren't going to be in quarantine, um, and they can go into school and sit their exams, assuming the schools are open. However, there are going to be some people who are isolating for whatever reasons, whether they've got symptoms, whether they've had a positive test, or whether someone they live with has a positive test. Those people will not be able to go into school to sit their exams. Irrespective of the the time that they've had of school, irrespective of the amount of um, differences between different areas, having different time of school, if you cannot go in for exam day because you are isolating, because you have a positive test result, because you have symptoms, they are talking about using centre assessed grades and ranking again. So just to recap really briefly on what happened last year. They keep saying teacher grades, but it wasn't just a teacher. This was a group effort across the whole department and heads and exams officers. There was a lot of work that went into this. But we say if we take GCSE maths, for every person sitting GCSE maths in your school, 
they ranked them from 1 to 100, 150, 200, 300. And then they said the person at the top, we're very, very confident that that person is going to get a 9. And the person at the bottom, we're fairly sure they're going to get a 1. Um, and then they ranked everyone. So then the exam boards kind of like fitted that. And then they gave you standardised grades. But they went back to centre assess grades. And it was a real mess. But what they're going to do is they're kind of going to try and combine things. So talking about the people that can sit exams, go and sit exams. And then the people that can't go and sit exams, looking at where they would have been in the ranking and then fitting them in between the people that sat exams. So say you predicted, we said five people, like this is the order one, two, three, four, five. If people one and two and people four and five got to sit the exams, but person three is isolating and everyone gets the grades that they're supposed to, person three in the middle, kind of fits in between these and they, they will be given the grade that fits in between these and displays my fingers look at my nice nails also got them done just before lockdown um so it's a kind of like a hybrid system between actually sitting exams and ranking people like they did last year which we saw really really didn't work um so the answer to the question are exams going to be cancelled we don't know is it going to be based on mocks? We don't know. Are centre assess grades going to be used? We don't know. Is ranking going to be used? We don't know. Um, we don't know this because the government is changing their mind a lot at the moment. And as we saw last year, things changed really, really last minute. So they could say, um, yes, we are going to do a mock series in March, but then the virus goes away and everyone sits exams anyway. That, that would be lovely. Um, or they could say, yes, we know we're not going to do a mock series in March. Um, the virus is going down. We're going to have exams as normal. And then there's a sudden resurgence in April. And exams get cancelled and we've got nothing to fall back on. So I think what we have to assume is that the government and schools, and I imagine your schools are doing this already, are going to try and get as much data from you this year so that they have something to base exam grades on. So there are going to be mocks. I imagine you've had mocks already. There's going to be more mocks. Um, there's probably going to be centre assess grades and ranking as well. They're probably going to do all of it and see which one looks the nicest in the end. Um, anyway, the short answer is you need to start revising now because we need to plan for the worst case scenario and we do not know what is going to happen. Um, good luck guys, this is a really, really horrible time, um, but it will end, we will get through to the end of it, things will not be like this forever, um, and I'm going to be here with you literally the whole way, um, doing so much stuff for you, good luck guys. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.